Smoke and Robbery. Uh, man, we've already had some football games kick off. Mainly Florida State, Georgia Tech kicked off in Dublin. Uh, we've had what Colorado beat North Dakota State last night, man. So I know we got to talk about it, bro. Um, man, starting off, bro, how how does it feel for football to be back, man? And again, man, it feels great, man. It's the best time of the year. The best time of the year, all the sports on, man. But uh, the main one, the main one is that one that paid with that that pigskin leather on that hundred and uh. Put it at 120 yards, including the end zones. Uh, you know, I'm just happy. I'm excited. Um, it's, it's 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 a great it's a great thing, and and we're about to put together a great show for you guys this year. Man, hey, I'm ready, dog. Starting off, man, Florida State um, upset. I definitely did not see that happening. Um, Georgia Tech winning by a game field goal, game winning field goal. Uh, I'm not surprised, not surprised at all. But man, Georgia Tech. Uh, Solid showing, solid showing. Again, I'm not not mad at Florida State. Didn't think it was anything glaring that was, you know, upsetting. Just a good football game, good ACC matchup, man. And Georgia Tech did the unthinkable, bro, and they uh, upset FSU, man. Great win for the program, uh, man. What was what was your thoughts when you was watching that uh, game? You know the, the famous stand of any given Sunday, or well, it could be any given Saturday as well, man. Um, I think Georgia Tech went in there expecting to win. Um, they finished up the season last year. On a very high note, you know what I'm saying, with with a, a few key wins, uh, and I'm, I'm guessing they went into the summer, you know, believing that they can get things done. Man, they got a great head coach, and um, he has those guys believing. Uh, great leading the, uh, quarterback, Haynes King, uh, transferred from Texas A&M. Uh, you know, knows about big time football, man. I think they were eager to get out and and prove to you guys that they, you know they can compete with the top teams in the nation. Um, right. I think, you know, they they they're not gonna shock anybody else. I think people are on alert right now for Georgia Tech. Yeah, bro. How much has the NIL leveled the playing field, dog? Like just watching these games, bro. It seems like the game is different. It seems like everybody, like you said, any given Saturday you can be beat. Um, but in the Georgia Tech showing for sure, you got you got transfers coming in and playing good ball, bro. So uh, it's just a different day. It's a different day. Yeah, man, at NIL, and it, it leveled the playing fields. Um, you know, actually being able to get these guys, you know, compensation um, for their play or what they're projected to do has even the playing field. You know, a lot of these guys are going to these teams because these teams, and before, were able to promise their, you know, them or their family, hey, man, we'll be able to take care of this while they're here, you know, performing. Uh, and now all the teams can do it. Now you can, you know, pick and choose where you want to go. And now you start to see it kind of uh, – level out you know you still have those guys that are at the top but you, you're starting to see those guys from the second range starting to level out yeah no I agree man what do you think about um dj quarterback for florida state F- i mean yeah fsu i know a lot of a lot of people been hard on him yeah. um again didn't think he played terrible uh they didn't do enough to win but a good matchup uh, yeah. i think that's what a lot of a lot of people who ain't really uh football um Football heads and know the game, bro. They'll they'll give the guy a hard time without knowing the full picture of the story. Yep, yep, yep. Man, uh, like I said, uh, you know, last time we spoke, I said DJ was a transfer. I know he got in sometimes, but man, that was his first game with Florida State. That yep. was his first. They played Georgia Tech, a team that is hungry. And you know, let's not take credit away from Georgia uh, Georgia Tech on how he performed. I didn't think he did terribly. Could he have played better? Yes, but it takes time. And in an offense, man. Um, remember Cam Newton. At Auburn, his his first couple games weren't his best games. It, yeah. it took three or four games to hit his actual stride before you start seeing the separation. So um, he just happened to play Georgia Tech conference game, man. He didn't get the warm up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He didn't get the warm up with Robert. He got he got straight into the season. In fact, <laughs> in Dublin, in Dublin, man, out of the country so, game. You know, you know, he went home to feed off the feed off the uh, you know the crowd or whatnot. So that, that's just how that's just how it played out, man. He'll be our right, FSU will be our right, and then bounce back. Yeah, bro, I agree with you. I agree with you. I think FSU going to be fine. Um, it wasn't a sloppy game. It wasn't a sloppy game at all, man. So, um, like I said, definitely definitely curious to see what uh, what FSU does, I believe, this Monday. They got a quick turnaround. Uh, they play this Monday. I believe Boston College. We'll talk about that later. Um, but, yeah, man, I'm excited to see, bro. Next up, dog, Thursday night was the kickoff. Uh, Primetime, Travis Hunter. Shador, Shiloh, Colorado, man. They came out. They won the ball game uh, against a great North Dakota team. Um, 
I say great because they was great in their, their division. Um, and they played good ball last night. Well, coach team, man, what was the thoughts last night? Uh, seeing Colorado get out of there with a four point, no, six, what was it, six point win? Six point win? It was close. It was close ball. Than, <laughs> it wasn't more than a touchdown, man. But I, you know, first off, I would like to uh, say to that athletic director, whoever, you know, booked that game against North Dakota State. Um, the first game of the year, man, why why would you do that to yourself? Uh, you know what I'm saying? If if Coach Prime wasn't there, uh, guaranteed that North Dakota State would have been the favorite in that game. No question. For sure. For sure. Um, moving forward, great test right out the box, man. Another game that, you know, they didn't get a chance to really warm up with a team. They played a team uh, in the team, uh, Colorado. They played a team in North Dakota State that has championship pedigree. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't get a chance to play um, – I don't know, mid, mid level team, second year team. You know what I'm saying? They got right into playing a good football team who possibly could have won the game, man. Uh, let's get into it, man. As far as, you know, the the superstars of the game that we per se, the, 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 the draft picks. Um, Shador Sanders came out off the roof, 445 yards and four touchdowns, man. Um, wow. It's halfway to a thousand already. Uh, moving forward on to Travis Hunter. He had three touchdowns and over 100 yards receiving. And let's not leave out Joe Horn, who had also had a touchdown and, and 200 yards receiving. Um, I think Shador does a great job of, of, of getting the ball to his playmakers. Um, but I, I want to see how long can this last, man. Um, my main thing with seeing Colorado this year was seeing two things, two things really um, from, from last year is have, have they been able to improve the pass blocking with the O-line, keeping Shador off the, uh, off the ground, and yeah. they find a running game. And I seen these them get uh transfers in and running backs, you know, highly recruited guys. Uh they got a guy out of Ohio State that I thought would get in and really contribute, you know, at least give them between 50 and 75 yards, you know, if not eclipsing that hundred, just to have a change up, man. So it's not all pass, 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 but they don't seem to either have a running game, want to run the ball or what, man. But but if they wanna do what they want to do and win more games. Uh, they're going to have to, to find a running game. Um, I was listening to this guy speak earlier about it, and he was just talking about, yeah, you know what I'm saying, they have one of the best passing games in the nation, but the reason that guys are staying in the game is because they can't control the clock or in the game uh, because all they do is pass, all they know is pass. And when it's time to run, they're not able to run because they, they don't practice running the football. And um, it's just interesting to see, man. Um, I don't know if Coach Prime is, is trying to get his guy to Heisman or – or what it is, man, because he's already switched up OCs, um, and it seems to be the same game plan. So, yep. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see going forward. No, man, you hit it right on the head, bro. That's the same thing I'm thinking about. How can you establish a run game, man? When you have the starting running back uh, have nine attempts as a running back, when you have your quarterback with six rushing attempts, it just don't add up to me. And this is a, a quarterback who's not a rushing quarterback. So, these weren't designed – runs for the quarterback so man they've got to figure out a way to establish the run find or, or find a run game if they want to win games in the big 12 um it's the only way when you think about it uh, i believe uh north dakota state had 43 to 45 rushing attempts versus colorado 16 you know not including the six with with um shador um it's the same it's the same yeah bro it's the same story um you're telling the defense, number one, to pass rush all game. So mm -hmm. I don't care what O-line they bring in, what Louis V. Luggage they bring in at the O-line position, it's going to be hard to block these guys 40-something times a game when you're just dropping back. Um, mm -hmm. Running the ball maybe 15 to 20 percent of the game ain't going to work. It looked good. And you got all the athletes in the world, man. Travis, to come out last night, man, first touch, go to the house on a curl route. They just let you know how explosive he is as a ball player. Um, mm -hmm. He couldn't be stopped. He couldn't be stopped, man. They got a connection, bro. That's crazy. You yeah. can tell they stay together. They just like brothers. You can tell anytime on a Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday afternoon, bro, hey, let's go throw the ball. Yeah. Let's go throw the ball. You can tell. You can tell, dog. So that connection, it's going to be there. But, again, the win ball games, uh, I said it last year when we was talking uh, during, during the show, is – um. Where's the run game? Where is it? You know, and that's why you've got running backs lead a program. Um, one of the best running backs last year left, went to Kansas State. Um, mm -hmm. 
it was. Yeah, so, man, they'll have to figure it out, man. But right now, I'm seeing the same thing. But same, again, same thing. If, if anybody out here is hard on Colorado for last night showing, they played a good ball team. They still played a good ball team. Mm -hmm. But play calling-wise, coaching, they got to come with a better scheme. How do you, in my opinion, um, the fourth down call at the beginning of the second quarter, you go for it on fourth and one, you, you in the shotgun, run a zone, zone. It's not even a zone read because Shadur is not pulling the ball. You run a zone out the gun, your quarterback six, four, six, five, man, he can sneak it for a yard, an inch. Um, it, it, it sounds easy, but apparently that didn't cross their mind, man. Uh, when I seen that, I thought it was going to be a, uh, a pass for sure when he, when he got back in the shotgun, but to see him hand it off yeah. and to see that, like, actually, North Dakota State, you could see them, like, creeping up the blitz. Like, they wasn't hiding. I just thought that that was very strange, man. I thought they would play action off that, throw it to the flats real quick or something, but not just straight off hand inside zone. That makes sense to me, man. Yeah, man. What What do you think the, uh, the response would have been, bro, if North Dakota State was able to punch it in on that drive? Because I think they held them to three. They did. But if they would have been able to punch it in, that's a different ball. That's a bit different ball game. Different ball game. Could have, would have, should have. But, man, I think uh, as a coach, man, it's different nowadays, bro. These coaches taking chances. Yeah. You put your defensive guys in bad situations, man. Um, yeah, I think they went up 13-10 there. Um, you know, 17-10 looks a little different, but but it's, sure. not, uh, it's not outside of one score. So, um, I don't think they get down on that. It was still early in the game. And um, I just think that that they, they have to play better. I know it's first game, but they have to play better and they have to be led better coaching-wise. I'm going to put a little bit more on Coach Prime and his yeah. staff instead of the team, man. They're, they're out there to lead those guys.